Good evening and welcome to uh, Putting Social Studies in Its Place webinar number one. Tonight our goal is to provide some tips and tricks that will help you during weeks three through five of the course. My name is Chris Buenen and I am helping uh, teach this course and we thank you all for agreeing to be a part of the GNIP and NCSS and uh, Virginia Geographic Alliance supported course. Uh, with me tonight is uh, Julie and Andy. Julie and Andy, would you quickly just say a, a little something about yourselves? Hi, everyone. My name is Andy. Glad to, good to have you in the course and look forward to the rest of it with you. Hi, I'm Julie, and I've uh, really enjoyed uh, communicating with a lot of you about uh, the beginning of the course, and it seems like a lot of you are enjoying it, and so that's a, a really great thing to hear. Thank you. And again, I, I'm Chris, and I'm, 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 I'm very pleased that you're with us, and thank you for all of your time, energy, and contributions so far. Tonight, we've got four things we'd like to, to share with you today that we haven't been able to show you with ArcGIS Online, because we really wanted that you to have the opportunity to just get your toes in the water, and for some of you that are, are advanced with ArcGIS Online, hopefully these, these are some tips and tricks that will help you. Uh, we want to start with about, each one of these demos will take about five to seven minutes. Um, they're going to be, we're going to cover how to search for David Rumsey layers. Uh, a couple of you asked in your discussion threads, is there a way to get historical data and maps into ArcGIS Online? And we want to show you this great, rich collection of David Rumsey layers that are available to you. Then we'll hand it off to Andy, and Andy will show you how to add points to an ArcGIS Online map if you have a table of latitude and longitude coordinates. And I'm sorry, I mean, Julie will be sharing with you how to add XY coordinates to an ArcGIS Online map once you have a table of coordinates. And then Andy will share with you how if you have a, a table of addresses, you can quickly add these points to ArcGIS Online. He'll also be showing you how to use images. And then we'll finish with once you have addresses, how can you do a little bit of simple spatial analysis to, uh, to bring it all together. Um, so let's go ahead and start with showing you how to uh, look for David Rumsey stuff. So to do that, if you go to ArcGIS Online and you click on Map, it might take a moment for my computer to respond. You'll note that it just brings you to the uh, standard landing page for ArcGIS Online. If you're not logged in and you want to do this, you need to click on Modify Map before you can make any changes. To search for layers, choose Add. Search for layers and search for David Rumsey. And if you want, go ahead and uncheck the within map area. Choose go, and you'll notice a lot of different layers come up. So let's say you wanted to show what did the United States and North America look like in 1811. You can choose to add this map to ArcGIS Online. And you'll notice that Esri has geo-referenced a lot of different, different maps to the specific geographic location. So if I wanted to see what, was, what did the United States look like in 1811 in my neck of the woods, I can search for Afton, Virginia, choose search, and give the map a moment to draw. And it's sometimes you get a delay as it communicates with the server. But you can start to see what points are on the map. You can see that the collection over here, there are many different maps. And that was America in 1811. I wonder what the 1823 map has. So I'm going to add that. And so you can see that some cities make it, some cities aren't. This is a nice place if you want to add some base layers, historical primary sources you can. You could save this map and you'd be ready to go. So that is how you can add David Rumsey uh, layers to an ArcGIS Online map to review. You click on Modify Map, Add Layers and Search for Layers, Search for David Rumsey in ArcGIS Online, 
and go ahead and uncheck the within map area. And that's how you bring in layers. If you find that you want to get rid of them, you click on the little dot below the layer, you'll see there's an option to remove. So if you click on the more options under the layer, hit remove, you're done. And if you click on your house or home button, you're back to the United States. And that's how you can search for old history maps and add them to ArcGIS Online.